Hello, welcome to video 14, Excel Macros VBA. Against popular belief, Excel Macros are extremely easy to make. They are as easy as clicking a button twice. And I'm going to show you where that button is, when to click it the first time and the second time to make a macro. Then I'll also show you how to see the code behind and the little magic you can do on your own beyond recording a macro. So let's start. Here I have, once again, the car sales record that I have for from January to December 2013. So let's say I would like to automate some, some formatting. I would like to automate some things I will do on this file. Because I'm going whatever I do on this, I want to do the same on all the other months. So I don't want to do it over and over again. I want to do a macro that will once I've done for this, I can click a macro to do the same thing for all these other months. And that's one of the you know, simplest use you can find for a macro. Without coding, you'll be able to do this, without writing any program. By just clicking a button twice, you'll be able to do this. So I'm going to show you what button to click. If you look towards the lower left corner of your Excel sheet, you always see behind, beside, just after this ready, you'll always see this icon. It's for recording a macro. What I want to do, I want to change the format for this, for this range of cells. I want to apply some formatting to this range of cell. So, so I'll select the January table. I'll click on record macro. So I'll type in the macro name. I'm going to name it format auto or format macro. The rules about naming a macro name are you shouldn't start with a number and you mustn't include a space or symbol in the macro name. Then I always recommend you use a keyboard shortcut. So let's say we use keyboard shortcut K. It's not used for any other thing in Excel, so you can safely use K. So I'm going to click on OK. Then now I'll do the formatting I want to do on this particular table. So I'll come here, I would like to add the border. Then I like giving my, I like to put a double border line at the bottom of the total. So I'll come here, click on double border line. And that is all. So I'll end, I'll stop the recorder. So I would like to repeat that for February. So I'll select February data and I'll simply do Ctrl K see it's done i'll select for for me for march i'll do ctrl k i'll select for select for april i'll do ctrl k i'll click on may i'll select may data i'll click on ctrl k keyboard shortcuts and i'll do that till I get to December. Control K, the keyboard shortcuts, the macro does everything. I'm sure you must have come across some Excel sheets where there's a button for the macro. So how do you get to that stage? There is a bar, a menu bar called developer. In yours, it probably might not be showing. So how you enable it is you come to file, you come to options, you go to customize ribbon then you look for developer here this is it in your case it might be like this so you make sure it's ticked and then you click on ok once you do that you'll see the developer bar so you click on it and here you can add a button so you click on insert you choose a form control button this is the most common button to use so you, once you've drawn to the size of the button, 
you see this pop-up asking you what form macro do you want to assign to that button so this is the macro we just created format macro so i'm going to say that's the formula that's the macro i want to attach to that button then i can rename the button to format i have done now click on somewhere else so if i want to do for I want to do for other months all i need to do is let's do for july so i'm going to select july data but instead of of doing ctrl k i'm going to scroll up and click on the button by the time i scroll down to see july it's been done for it so that's how you create a macro button so what if you want to see the code behind it's very easy come here click on macros it's going to show you all the macros you have click on the macro you want to see the code behind it i want to see the code behind format macro that's the macro we've just done that's why i'll click on step into and this is how you see the code behind it so if you are if you want to ch make some changes if you know how to do some vb coding you want to do changes you can change it but this is what the recorder did for us and it's working fine so you might want to leave it the way it is and that is how I'm going to stop the debugger. And so that's how you create a macro. And that will be it for this video. So once again, don't forget to subscribe to our blog. Thank you.